Hello, welcome back to part two of this handle making series where we will be taking this hatchet head and fitting it securely to the handle we just made. We left off with making this kerf cut for our wedge. Now that that is in place, the hatchet head does slide on much further. Before it was only coming down about a half inch. As you can see, I'm trying to make it to this line right here. We have about a half inch to go. So there is still some more fine tuning to go to get this handle to breach the top of our hatchet head. But before I go wailing on this handle, I need to come back and put a bevel around this palm swell. That will help prevent it from cracking and trying to glue that mess back together. Believe it or not, holding the hatchet head upside down and driving the handle in is the most effective way of getting a nice secure fit. Continue removing shavings until the handle is protruding through the top of the head. Also be sure that the entire base of the hatchet head, or the eye, is making full contact with the handle, leaving no gaps. The gap seen at the top of the hatchet head will be taken care of by the wedge. When it comes to finishes on wood handled tools, linseed oil is a better alternative than polyurethane. It's like food for the wood fibers. In order to prevent breaking the wedge, do not hit the wedge directly. Use a block that will make full even contact with the top of the wedge. Take your time while sinking the wedge. The wood fibers will need time to adjust as you're driving it in. I'd recommend two to three strikes at a time, followed by a brief pause. Using a razor blade, trim any areas of the wedge that are getting hung up on the hatchet head. Next, trim off the excess, leaving about one eighth of an inch of material sticking up past the hatchet head. The excess sticking out will mushroom and provide for a more secure fit.
Thank you for watching this two-part series on how to carve a hatchet handle. If you haven't already, go back and watch part one where I'll take you through step-by-step step on how we carve this very handle. Now, after we finish one of these handles, you gotta take it through all sorts of tests, chopping, arm shaving, but there's also the flight test.